This man risks his life to test Alpine Star's motorcycle riding gear in the real world. His name is Vito Goreshki. Occupation, former world-class racer turned test rider. It's really the test riders that help the engineers determine whether the direction they're taking is right. And Vito is extremely good at it. To test Alpine Star's latest design, they'll first make Vito a new set of leathers. This is the racing department. This is where all the racing suits are made, and this is where we're going to be making the Vito Goreski suit. First step being the artwork, and then we transform the artwork into a more life-size pattern, which is printed out by this machine, which can then be taken over to the table here, and we can create these cardboard shapes, which become the patterns of this leather suit. The process is the same as a custom tailor would use to produce a, a suit or a shirt. This is the next step of the process, where the cardboard patterns actually become the leather parts of the suit. It takes an entire cowhide to make just one leather race suit and years of experience to know which parts of the hide to use for which parts of the suit. When you look at a leather hide, for the average person, it looks very much the same. But for our purposes, we need people who can spot the areas for the arms, for the legs, for the body, and making sure that the consistency is maximized through the suit. This is the beginning of the assembly line for Vito suit, and essentially it begins its life in a box. The box has all the leather pieces inside. There are more than 90 different pieces in one leather suit. But that's nothing compared to all the stitching. There is a lot of stitching in a suit. I mean, to be precise, there's over a mile of thread goes into each racing suit. Jessica right now is working on the knee section of Vito suit. The knee section is especially critical because riders actually hold themselves on their bike by squeezing the gas tank with their knees. 18 separate components have to be put together to form the knee. Those components are a combination of leather to resist abrasion, internal padding made from gels and foam to absorb impact and external hard pieces made out of thermal polyurethane, a type of plastic they call body armor. That armor does two things, disperse the initial impact and keep the rider sliding when they crash. It seems a little bit strange perhaps uh, on the first uh, investigation, but when a rider goes down at high speed, we're trying to absorb as much of the energy within the accident as possible. We're actually trying to keep the rider moving and progressively slow them down. That way we take energy out of the accident and we limit the amount of potential damage that the rider is gonna suffer. 